Now I just wanted to make this uh, video just about push-ups guys. Uh, in the gym we're having a bit of a push-up revolution in that uh, I'm not allowing people to do push-ups poorly anymore, especially those who've been training with me a while. I'm insisting that we do proper push-ups. Um, the difference between doing a, a proper push-up and doing a poor push-up, uh, well let's not call it poor, maybe that's a bit unfair, but initially when you start training it's easier to let the elbows flare out real wide with a push-up. This looks like a bell. Okay, and even when you get up onto the toes, it's easy to keep that same habit. Really let the elbows go super wide. I know, look, oh, it's a big stretching in the chest. Oh, to take a push up to the next level and to really strengthen the arms, you've got to get the triceps stronger. When you're going push ups with the elbows flaring out super wide, um, the triceps are basically they're getting an easy time, they're getting to not do the work they should be able to do, and the shoulders taken over. Um, which isn't, it's not a perfect position for the shoulders to be in and bringing them super wide, like it's a vulnerable enough joint. So if you're going to do all your pushing, do it in here where it's in a safer position. You can also press a lot more once the triceps come up to speed. If you've always been doing your push-ups with the elbows sticking out too far, then your triceps aren't going, aren't going to be as strong. And it's just, so you're going to find these more difficult, but they will come up to speed and your push-ups will become better than they ever have been if you serve your time on them. Um, Another one of the great advantages is that now you're really toning your triceps, the back of the arm. So the back of your arms are going to get a lot more toned, which is probably the aim of the game for most people doing a push-up. Um, so I'll just go through a couple of little tips on it. Uh, one, this applies to whether you're on the knees or the toes, so I'll do both. First is your setup. Get the setup right at the start. So spread the fingers, rather than just having the hand all relaxed, spread the fingers. You don't have to mad spread them, but spread them out and grab onto the floor. Okay, the second thing, and this is probably the most important tip to get a nice push-up, is the elbow pits. These lads in here, all right? You want to get them facing forwards, so turn them out. I like to jam the feet together, squeeze your backside, and then come down, press up. So take a breath at the top, press up. And this is exactly the same on the knees. The only difference being here, I'm going to jam my knees together, as well as jamming my heels together. Elbow pits are still forward. And the difference with a push-up like that is as opposed to, I'll just show you, um, where we could be doing them, with the elbows rolling out to the sides a lot. All right, the difference here is now we're really getting into our triceps. We're forcing them to do the pressing movement. Um, so it's really gonna give you, it's gonna tone the back of your arms a lot more. It's gonna give you a lot more strength. With the upper body, I sort of break it down into this two classes of movements. There's upper body pulling exercises, and then there's upper body pushing exercises. And a push-up is the most basic one of the, the upper body pushing exercises or pressing exercises. And once you learn them and you learn to do them right, it unlocks a whole host of uh, fancy movements that you can do. But until you nail that and actually get your triceps strong, things like typewriter push-ups or clap push-ups or one-arm push-ups or any of the fancy stuff, um, it's going to be unattainable for you. So elbows in, or elbow pits forward. Turn them beauties out. <laughs> and as I've been saying to the guys here in the gym, it doesn't matter if you can do 10 push-ups on the toes with the elbows flaring Now Come back now and give me three good ones on the toes, tucking those elbows in, keeping the elbow pits forward. And, you know, go to the knees and knock out your other seven. Happy days. You'll just find your strength will build as you go. And um, my last little tip just on the push-up is being set in concrete. So if you can imagine you're set in concrete up to the elbow, so you're not going to let the elbows move. You know, sometimes you see these people doing push-ups and the elbows are rolling out or from a side sometimes with a belly when they're coming back down. I want you to imagine you're set in concrete up to the elbow so them bad boys can't move, okay? So we're set in concrete up to here. So they can't, they can't fall back this way, they can't fall out that way. It's literally all happening from here up from the elbow up. Okay, so I hope that video helps. My battery is running low. Give us your feedback or your thoughts. I know a few people I, I sort of picked on earlier in the year and I says, no, 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 elbows in. And now they're cranking out savage push-ups and the arms are looking a lot better as well. So if you've been training for more than a month, two months, we'll say, now's the time to tighten up the push-ups. Bowing time is over.